Hi hearts. This is my mystical crystal treasure chest and collection. Crystals have been the first collection I ever started and be sure to stay tuned until the end because there's one crystal I've had the longest out of my collection and I'm gonna show that one last since it's so special. Go ahead and take in the frequencies of all these crystals at once and then I'll show some individually as well. This is a crystal quartz. I've used this for storing psychic energy. I really do love its imperfections. And even when storing energy, it helps amplify it. I have lots of quartz. I suppose I'll show some of those first. I love all the points on this one. It's very shape-shifting like as well. course the crystal ball. Amazing for scrying. Looking into other worlds and dimensions. These are apparently rose quartz. Very, very light pink. Some of the colors might look a little different as well just because I have some of the blue colored lighting. When I hold these up to the light, they look very clear and white. But when I have them up against a dark background, I can see a faint tint of the pink. This is another stone that I have a decent amount of. I love the dark spots. To me, they're almost freckles. And then the back part of it. It feels like the outside of a geode. Great for increasing your psychic abilities, relaxing. Some more amethyst. This one here is actually my favorite out of all of them. Some mineral deposits. Now, Crystals can have typical meanings. And you can also just feel the frequency and channel each particular crystal. So one amethyst may even give you a different vibe from another amethyst. Let's go on to, there's so many to choose from. <laughs> Carnelian. Hades, dragon energy. I like the palm size stones. Easy to hold on to. Great for working with meditation. 
the different shapes, such as skulls. This one's Soda Light. Great for depth, wisdom, connecting deep into the subconscious. Solid black school is one of my favorites. I have it on my own personal altar that I have for myself. I love connecting with death energy. Almost feeling crystal and I realize we're hiding in the corners. Pirates, one of my favorite stones of all time. This one's very Excellent for working with Lucifer. Some more pyrite. I'd also say this stone is wonderful for glamour spells. Appearing one way. And we also have Lapis Lazuli. This one has pirate inside of it. I have amethyst plugs that I'm wearing. I love wearing plug gemstones and jewelry close to me so I can feel the crystal vibrations throughout my day when I am wearing them. Green opal. This one's more of a rare one. I actually dedicated this stone to my watchers which are Enlil, Inki, and Anu. Green and brown mixed with white. I also recently started using this to connect with the conscious and the subconscious. The earth and the ocean. And having the balance between. Amazonite shiny if you want to channel Ishtar maybe connect with the mermaids and I have some crystals various levels here there's about two more levels in this chest. Labradorite. Very shiny. Scrying into the void. My pendulum, which is actually a smoky quartz. Black tourmaline wand. I'm going to be using this in particular with another video I've planned. It could help you discover paths of negative energy. You can direct it in various ways. Have it attracted and disappear. You can program your crystals however you like. Okay, I have quite a few different tourmalines. Some of the crystals 
I do have many of these. I was gonna, I'm planning on doing an art project. One of my pro many projects I have planned that I haven't gotten started, but got the supplies for. Maybe one day I'll finish it and show you all. Enjoy doing wire wrapping too. Making jewelry. Selenite. These towers are so cool. Great for connecting with the moon. She did some ritual work last night with Nana. I finally got an appropriate door to do that gate working. More information to come on that. Let's grab some of these quartz. Pieces I got for wire wrapping jewelry as well. Wire wrapping can be a learning experience. I figured out what type of metal and what shape of the metal I like. When it comes to wire wrapping, I usually enjoy copper and more of the square style of the wire. I usually take my time more with the crystals. But since I'm showing most of my collection, Oftentimes, I'll have a different crystal I work with each day. I like how these clusters are all together. I got some of these at gem fair. I miss going to gem fairs. Might go to another one soon. There aren't really Jumper is too close by here, but I think it'd be worth the adventure, especially since I've been at home for a while. I love these rows. Quartz, a bunch of these. Yeah, those look more rosy than the other rose quartz I was showing. Actually, move quite a bit of these crystals out from in here. the sounds are somewhat soothing. Oh, um, turn this on. This peak LED light candle I have. There we go. It's like using it in the selenite. Selenite is also great for cleansing. I like having selenite stones around my other stones, so then it helps cleanse them. It's 
Speaking of salad, right? You know, I have a bunch more wands. Sometimes I have quite a few of the same crystals too for gifts. I love crystals and stones are some of my favorite gifts to give people. And these are great for cleansing your aura. Even placing in various areas. Strategically. Almost. Oh, well I am. Filling around in here. Love this heart amethyst. The points are pretty unique how they're small. This is also very peaceful. And high vibrational. I've been connecting with my soul more and raising my vibrations. And by doing that, you'd be amazed with how your heart opens. I suggest that. I don't think I showed my nails. I got my nails done in Tiger's Eye, which is my favorite stone. I just got reminded because I have these Tiger's Eye Towers. Also an excellent stone to work with, with Lucifer. Towers are great for projecting the energy up because they are pointing upright. I want to do a crystal grid one of these days. This one is actually obsidian, which is different from the onyx. Has some reflections and lighter aspects in it. I'd say balance is a good way to use it. I absolutely adore this rose quartz. It's not perfectly shaped. <laughs> but like I said, I, I enjoy the uniqueness of the different crystals. And the pink is very vibrant. Lastly, I did say I was going to show you the stone I've had the longest and really means a lot to me. This was most of my crystal collection, I would say. I, ha I do have some jewelry and beads. And a lot of my crystal collection that I had a really long time ago, I ended up 
either giving away or getting rid of in some way or another just because of memories I didn't want to hold on to. And then I always just wanted to make sure I had one. And now that I think about it, some, you know, things happen for a reason. So I feel as though people who got some of those crystals from my first collection, they probably need them more than I do. And it's this piece of petrified wood. Which I find very unique. Almost looks like it could be a sigil type shape. And since it is wood, reminds me of roots connecting to roots, the ancestors getting grounded, vibing with inner earth. I think it's awesome when y'all comment. So check out the comments, interact, and learn from each other. It's been great building this community. Also, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell. Later, darlings. I love you.